Bristol College. In this war, 63%. We're a great two weeks vacation people. We hunt and we fish. Up north, down south, back east, out west. When the season opens, we hunt and fish. And we're a sports loving people. Sometimes we need alibis. We sleep by the road, we eat by the road. The foreigner is enchanted and amazed by what we like to put on our stomachs. joining people, we join clubs, fraternities, unions, federations. Shove a blanket us, we'll sign up. Radios, we have one in the living room. When you think of refreshment, think of the dining room, the bedroom, the bathroom, in our cars, and in case of acid indigestion, in our hands, and up our sleeves. Your cigarette tastes different lately. Music, we couldn't be without it. Yes, it's the biggest, but most important, it's the freest on Earth. Over 12,000 newspapers of all shades of opinion, books on every conceivable subject, and more than 6,000 different magazines, not counting the comics. Churches, we have every denomination on Earth. 60 million of us regularly attend, and no one dares tell us which one to go to. We elect our own neighbors to govern us. We believe in individual enterprise and opportunity for men and women alike. We make mistakes. We see the results. We correct the mistakes. We skyrocket into false prosperities and then plummet down into false, needless depressions. But. In spite of everything, we never lose our faith in the future. We believe in the future. We build for the future. Yes, we build for the future. And the future always catches up with us. Before we're done building, we've developed something new and have to start rebuilding. That's roughly the kind of people we are. Boastful, easygoing, sentimental but underneath passionately dedicated to the ideal our forefathers passed on to us, the liberty and dignity of man. We've made great material progress, 
But spiritually, we're still in the frontier days. Yet deep down within us, there is a great yearning for peace and goodwill toward men. Somehow we feel that if men turn their minds toward the fields of peace, as they have toward the fields of transportation, communication, or aviation, wars would soon be as old-fashioned as the horse and buggy days. We hate war. We know that in war, it's the common man who does the pain, the suffering, the dying. We bend over backwards to avoid it. But let our freedoms be endangered, and we'll pay and suffer and fight to the last man. That is the America. That is the way of living for which we fight.